Welcome back to the channel. Today's gonna to be a fun video. We are out of the shop. We're attending the Triple Crown of Riding Car Show. It is in Nashville. As you can see behind me, we are at the Nashville Super Speedway. I believe this is the first ever of this show. We heard there's gonna be a lot of heavy hitters here, a lot of cool cars, so we thought we'd attend. We brought our 56 Ford F600. Bob brought his 67 C10. I've done a quick walkthrough already. I've seen that Roadster Shops here, Goolsby, Alloway. I saw Kindig walking around filming his TV show, so it should be a cool show. I'm gonna walk around, show it off. Maybe mic up some of the guys. We'll go around, talk about some of the cars, check them out. Let's go take a look at what's inside. Recording me. I'm recording. I'm yeah. always recording I'm always you, Scott France. <laughs> as long as you don't hear the radio, you know right. I'm recording you. Yeah, we go turn off here. <laughs> Generators. Yeah. How do you like the show? The show's great. Great weather, great show, great turnout. First year of the show. Um, surprisingly, the amount, the quality lineup of quality cars here is like insane. And if you panned in on all the awards, the awards are like, the awards that you want to win they're over the top awards uh, i think if they keep that award quality up it's going to have these other big builders and high high quality cars they're like i, I want to win that so this row right here is going to get insane in the future uh, it's going to be going to be some big battles out here i hope us as a team at classic car studio can continue to get into this row we got it in this row with this year with two cars which is amazing uh, be happy just to be here one car every year, hopefully. But uh, the the show's so cool and the trophies are so neat that the competition's gonna get really big. It's gonna be really hard. We're gonna have to swing some big bats to try to keep our seat here.
guys think of the show so far? It's awesome. Good show. This is the highest level of cars we've ever seen in one place, which is crazy. We yes. go to a lot of different shows all over the country, but it seems like every nice thing we've ever seen anywhere and haven't seen yet is all in one place. So pretty incredible. Hey, look, a celebrity. I know him. So it is day two of the show. You didn't see it yesterday, but at the end of the day, they wound up picking the top 30 vehicles and Wade's F600 and Bob's 67 C10 won top 30. So now everything is in this row, all the so Big builds for the show are down here in this row. We will find out later this evening if we want a trophy or not. But even if we don't, we are thrilled to be in the top 10, our top 30. There are some incredible vehicles here.
It's the end of the day here, day two of Triple Crown of Riding. Like I told you earlier, the competition is steep. We had two trucks in the lineup here. We made top 30 of both trucks. We're patiently waiting, a little shaking of the knee to see if we go any further than top 30. There's a lot of awards they're giving away. One of these 30 cars is gonna get more than just a top 30 pick. Hopefully we're one, but we'll see. We got an ultra badass truck here. We got an ultra badass car right there. That's just what's on each side of us. It's a whole row as far as I can see that way and that way. So the competition is super steep. We're trying to swing the heaviest bat we got, try to hit a home run here. Triple crown of riding, put it on your calendar. They signed a three year contract. So there's two more shows coming up next year and then the year after that. So if you're not done, you need to get done and try to be a part of this. This thing here is like, we try to tell the shop all the time the examples of what it takes to win a Riddler. Riddler is like the ultra top honor Super Bowl ring of car building. This here is a previous winner. There's another previous winner that I know of, but right here is an example of what it is. This is long, black, straight. Everything that could go wrong could go wrong with this car, but it didn't because it's the absolute best out here. Um, it's been proven. It has the rings to show it. You glance over that and kind of capture some of the detail through the video. So this is a crew cab C10. You know, I'm a C10 junkie. This truck was built by our friends at Hills Hot Rods, one of the best of the square body business out there. They grabbed a 6772 and made it a crew cab. Kind of funny, we took a 56 Ford and made it a crew cab. They're a runner up for truck of the year of late model. We're runner up a truck of the year for early model. So hopefully both of us together, we can make this a four door truck, truck of the year show. Um, that's for good guys. Best truck is right here, top 30 pick, heavy hitter, got awards from SEMA. The best of the best is out here. If you're not here, you done missed a lot going on this weekend. All right, once again, 69 Camaro. Everybody likes 69 Camaro, whatever. You love them or hate them, every show is gonna have a bunch of them. This one here is Ring Brothers example of a 69 Camaro. If you don't know the Ring Brothers, they are the king of SEMA. They bring the biggest and the baddest hit at SEMA every year. This is one of those cars. You look over this and you grab that detail that's going on through here. And as Tim brings that video around, look at that windshield and that roof line going down in. Not only did they metal work the roof, but they did some glass work to bring the metal work go down into there. That right there is pro level stuff right there. So even the Camaros are badass here. It's not all old school hot rods, it's, it's everything. This is like a, one of the baddest muscle cars I've seen out here. And right, what do you know, he's in the top 30 and he's waiting to eat up some awards. Cool. All right, there's everything at this show. I showed you a Camaro, I showed you a Suburban, we showed you a Wagon Riddler winner. A Volkswagen? Are you shitting me? An oval one at that. One of the baddest bugs that I have ever seen and I'm a bug guy. Right here it is. This is California? Are you kidding me? Right here in Tennessee is the baddest bug you got to see right here. Check it out inside and out. The color's insane. The chrome plating's insane. Then we got a little bit of gold accents. This is like a high quality. This looks like a jewelry store, not a Volkswagen bug. Tim's gonna drag you around and try to capture all the details, but he ain't gonna get it all because there's just too many details to get. This thing's not in our truck class, but I'm hoping he hits a big home run and gets a big award here too. He's in the top 30 pick, so he's gonna get something. All right, here we go, Riddler winner number two. On the same street in the same row of cars battling for a trophy. Two Riddler winners on the same street, that's unheard of. But here it is. This is a Riddler winner from a few years ago. Absolutely top notch, beautiful. It doesn't look like they have driven it anywhere, but I actually have seen this car driving down the road. So it should have a bug chip and something going on, but I don't see any. Absolutely cool. Big blower on a flathead car was way ahead of its time. This thing is insane. The quality is second to none. Tim will bring you through and try to capture all the details. But once again, like I said on all the other ones, we can't get it all in a video. We wish we could. I like
Did he give us a heads up? So we might want a power park. Wait, a what? Power park. Power park? Yeah. Look at this. Yeah, so where do, where do we I don't know. I don't know. So we, we're going to drive through, I guess, across the, the block, maybe, and then, like, whoever, maybe some of the top guys park and stay right there. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So you're telling me I, I need to run up there now? We don't want to get, Tim. Get. It's first year, nobody knows. But yeah. the guy just come by and says, We might need you to help push. Yeah. Figure it out as we go. Can you push us? I can push you. All right. But do you guys, you, I guess everybody just uh, trained through. Yeah. I don't know. I, I might have had too many tacos. Push, I don't know if I can push too anything. Too many tacos? You're going down, going down. Well, the end will be pulling in front of the space. You can talk to me what you're going and just playing like that. So that wraps up our coverage of the 2023 Triple Crown of Hot Rodding Show. We have not seen that amount of high-end cars in one place at one time ever. So it was an honor to win a top 30 for Wade's truck and another top 30 for Bob's truck. Plus Wade was awarded with the SOT award. Really, again, an honor. So many nice vehicles there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you want to support the channel, there's merch for sale down low. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Oh, my sunscreen did not work. Oh no.